Hey guys, Natty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is grocery haul number 50 of 2024. So this is the second grocery haul for October. And this week I'm planning on doing some stock ups, a little bit for my freezer and for my pantry. And there's good sales going on because it's Thanksgiving here um, this Monday coming up. So that means good sales, good sales. So let me show you what I stocked up on today. It's just a little stock up, but this video will be like other videos split into little segments because I go shopping a couple times a week because I'm in different locations and well, pick it up while I'm there. So today I went to the independent grocery and this is what I picked up. Okay, so like I said, this is a Thanksgiving weekend. So there's a lot of great sales, a lot of 99 cent sale, $1 sales. So I picked up some things that I know I will enjoy. Um, so I picked up these turkey pies because they were a dollar each, a dollar each. You're allowed to six of them. So I picked up six of them. So I picked up two turkey pies, two of the Swanson chicken pies and two of the beef pies. That's going to be a great dinner for me and Jay this week. So three dinners with a salad. Perfect. So the flour this week, if you had your PC optimum card, you got it for two of 50 regular price, $3. I picked up some whole wheat flour this week because I plan on making whole wheat bread. Just to see if it, how it turns out. I've never made whole wheat bread before. So we're going to try that out. Uh, the eggs were on special, not much of a special, but it's a special. It's a little bit cheaper than the 12 pack at the food basics. So it was three seventy three for a dozen eggs. Uh, the gravy was on special. I didn't pick up too many gravies because I do like to make mine with Bisto, but sometimes I'm lazy and I don't feel like making it with Bisto. So I just make it with, uh, the canned stuff or if Jay's alone and he wants to make something, he could just do it with the canned stuff. So the mushroom and the chicken gravy, I got two cans. They were 99 cents each. And tomato, tomato condensed soup. So these were 99 cents as well. I picked up two. So that's a little bit of a pantry stock up right here. Um, I'm going to have some more pantry stock ups because there's a few other stores I have to hit this week because there is some good sales. So total price for your independent grocer, $16.19. So this is the next part of my grocery order. This grocery order comes from the Metro and from the Food Basics. So first I'll start with the Food Basics order. So I got some great deals today, Thanksgiving weekend. So there was some 99 cent sale, dollar sales. And let me show you what I got. So the eggs were on special. They were four eighty eight. So the cherry, the cherry jelly, and the orange jelly was ninety nine cents. English muffins, English muffins. I stocked up a little bit, so I'm gonna put two in the freezer and one for my fridge for the morning. Uh, that was on special for 99 cents. Uh, the Greek yogurt was $2.99. This was the cheapest yogurt I could find in the store. The yogurt prices are going up like really, really high. Um, $2.99 is the usual price for my Greek yogurt. So I picked some up today. Potatoes. They had bags of five pound potatoes. Is it five pounds? It is. Yeah, five pounds. Five pound potatoes. I got yellow flushed mini potatoes. 99 cents. 99 cents! I got this in the reduced bin. I never tried it before. It's creamy garlic. Uh, pasta sauce mix made from canor. Uh, now, tonight I was planning on making pasta, so um, I think I'll do it with this instead of making a... Um, 
uh, tomato base uh, pasta sauce. Let's try it with that tonight. See if I like it. So that was 79 cents. So I picked up some chips, of course, because that's my snack for the evenings. $1.49 a bag. I got the Harvest Cheese Cheddar Romano, one of my favorites. So the price for this grocery haul for Food Basics this week is $16.00. $16.00. Now I'm going to move over to the Metro Order. Metro Order was just a little bit of a stock up for my uh, pantry. They had, 99 cents sales. they had 99 cents sales there too. So the best time to check for these kind of sales for stock ups is around Thanksgiving, Easter, uh, Christmas, those kind of day things, right? Um, so I stocked up just a little bit. I was on a budget this month. I would have stocked up a lot more if I wasn't on the budget. But this is what I got. So we got some Fancy Feast Uncle Ben's uh, Chinese style fried rice. Broccoli and cheddar flavored and the homestyle chicken flavored with wild rice. So these were 99 cents a bag. And let me tell you, these are so good in the um, rice maker. I made one the other day. It was a wild rice, chicken wild rice, I think it was. I think it was this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one. And it was good. I like it in the rice maker. It comes out to perfection. So I picked up some of these cans of vegetables because I'm running low on my vegetables. So I got uh, two cans of summer sweet peas and two cans of cut green beans. So I only, like I said, only had a budget of $40 this month, so I didn't get as much as I wanted. But I'm thinking maybe next week I'm going to pick up a couple more cans with my next, my next $40. But anyways, that is what I picked up at the Metro today. And the Metro cost me $6.93. $6.93. That is my grocery haul for today. So with all this and all the stuff I got from the independent the other day, the independent grocer, the grand total for this grocery haul came up to Thirty-nine twenty-one. Thirty-nine twenty-one. Wow! So I was a little bit, just a little bit below forty dollars, which was great. I made it with the forty dollars, and I I did amazing. I think this week I got a lot of pantry stock ups. I got some stuff for breakfast. I got some extra eggs and some extra eggs and some extra potatoes. It's been a good week. It's been a good week. Well, this week was a great week for sales. The flyers were amazing. They had some great things that I needed for my pantry. And there was great things that I needed, like the flour and those Swanson meat pies. I haven't had those in years, those little pies, those turkey pies. And let me tell you, they're pretty yummy. They're pretty yummy. We had some yesterday for lunch, and it was delicious. So, yeah, um, I was actually thinking about taking $20 and going to do a stock up. Um, I know I said $40 a week this month, but I'm thinking about taking an extra 20 and possibly going back on Tuesday and picking up some more cans, some more of these Uncle Ben's, maybe another bag of flour, um, and a couple more of those Swanson things. Because, uh, yeah, the prices are going to go up and up and up and up and up and up, right? So might as well stock up while I can. So I'm thinking about it. I'm debating it. What do you guys think? Should I take $20? out of my own personal personalized cash. I was thinking taking it out of my thrifting money, my Dollar Tree money, my whatever, you know, that splurge money that I have extra every month. So I was thinking guys, should I take the $20? Let me know what you think. Would you take the extra $20 out of your cash and go and buy some extra stock ups for your pantry? I think I should. I'm still debating it. Either way, I'm glad I got what I got this week. I was able to do it with the $40. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So guys, thanks for watching me on this haul. I'll be back again next week with another $40 worth of groceries. So stay tuned for that. And have yourself a great week and happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends, Canadian viewers, and happy Thanksgiving.
five. Now, guys. Oh, one more thing. There's this contest going on right now. It's called the cart dash at the Metro. So if you win this, you could fill up your cart while racing against the clock. I'm entering these contests every chance I have. So every time I get a receipt from Metro, I'm like entering these contests. Guys, when you get these receipts from Metro or Food Basics or from any grocery store and there's a contest, just enter it. You never know. You could win a gift certificate. You could win a prize. You never know, right? It just takes a few minutes of your time to do it. So I'm going to do it. And hopefully this will be my prize. I would love that. I would love that. Just racing against the clock and filling up your cart with all the groceries you want. I've got it planned up here what I would get first. So let me tell you. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you go to the grocery store and there's a contest, just enter it.